Right now, the Marion County Clerk and County Clerks in much of the state are granting marriage certificates to same-sex couples. When the clerk's office opened downtown at 8 o'clock this morning, there were already 50 same-sex couples waiting in line. The first couple showed up at 6.30 this morning. On Wednesday, there were 250 marriage licenses issued and more than 180 ceremonies. 63 licenses have been granted so far today. For anybody else that's waiting or um, dreaming, this is a big day in Indianapolis, and I wish the best for everybody. I think it's pretty fantastic that we're finally getting somewhere in such a conservative place. Um, it's about time that things are turning around. Yesterday, a federal judge ruled the state's marriage ban violates the due process and equal protection clauses of the nation's founding document. Indiana's attorney general is planning to appeal the ruling and has filed for an emergency stay to stop same-sex marriages in Indiana. We also have new details on the direction the attorney general's office is giving to county clerks. RTV6 has obtained this email sent to all 92 clerks yesterday afternoon. It says the five clerks mentioned in the federal lawsuits, Hamilton, Boone, Allen, Lake, and Porter counties, must issue same-sex marriage licenses. It goes goes on to say other county clerks are not under the direct jurisdiction of the court order, but as an officer of the court, we must encourage everyone to show respect for the judge and the orders that are issued. Our goal has been to avoid the chaos that has ensued in other states when rulings such as today's have been issued. We encourage respect for our legal system and the rule of the law, end quote. Well, we've learned a Bartholomew County couple was denied the opportunity to get a marriage license this morning. 27-year-old Cheyenne Mockaby and her partner, 32 year old Christina Reeves were turned away when they requested a marriage license application. The couple has vowed to remain at the clerk's office until closing time today and return again tomorrow until they are treated fairly. So far, clerk Tammy Hines explanation is that the office is awaiting direction from the attorney general's office. RTV6 is a crew at the scene will have the story on the news at five o'clock as well.